Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the uh, report to report interface or the uh, drill down through the SCP Design Studio to the SCP Web Intelligence. Okay, um, so actually, in this demo, I'm going to show you two ways to configure the report report interface through a uh, uh, SCP Design Studio application to another you know, web intelligence document. Um, as you can see right now, I have a very simple uh, Design Studio uh, application. So basically, it's just like a cross table um, uh, with the uh, SCP Bex query. And uh, the data is very simple. You have the plant, you have the calendar year and the month, and you have the uh, key figures, number records, and those quantity. Because this is intended to be a um, summary report, okay? And uh, our idea is that to uh, you run the summary report through SCP Design Studio. If you want to see the detailed report, you can use the report report interface. So when you click on certain plant, for example, DD01, so you're gonna jump to the detailed seals information of this plant, okay? So this is our summary report, which was created by SCP Design Studio. And then we have another uh, detailed report, which is created by the SCP Web Intelligence. So there are two reports, one summary report, which was created by SCP Design Studio. The other one is target report uh, for the detailed analysis, which is created by Web Intelligence. Okay. So now let's see how we can configure the report to report interface from SCP Design Studio to Web Intelligence. Okay. Um, so the one way is that you can click one the row as you can see here, and then you pass the parameter of the specific row you click, and then you open the web uh, intelligence document, okay? So, uh, in order to enable this function, we have to uh, uh, enable the uh, select uh, functionality of this cross tab, it's here. It's in the user interactivity so you see here this is a sex selection tab because I want to select for one row so I choose a single row and so also here you can write a piece of code see uh, what you're gonna do when the user click while well this rows okay if I click this code uh, it's very straightforward uh, so you can use like for example, we're going to use the plant as a parameter so that I have to capture, you know, the uh, the row which were, which is selected to capture both the text and the key. So this is just a very standard uh, design studio, you know, the API to capture the, um, mm -hmm. the member uh, text and the key. And then this URL is the uh, a web intelligence document URL. Okay, so so nothing special, but pay more attention to this uh, uh, CUID. Okay, so this document ID uh, is the uh, web intelligence document ID in your um, uh, BI platform. Okay, in our case, it should be the CUID of this web uh, web report. Okay, you can easily get this. Uh, CYD uh, through the CMC, right? You right click on this web report and choose properties. Then you're gonna find this CYD, okay? And the next thing you have to do is uh, about this uh, parameter because we're gonna use the plant to pass the parameter so that um, you have to create a BEX variable uh, for the uh, info object plant okay um, just for information uh, the web report is also based on the backs query okay so so we have the backs query uh, for the web report and also for the 
a design studio application because this is only for the demo purpose. In the real scenario, you could have two different box queries. One is for the summary report, and the other one is for the uh, detailed report, but you can also use only one box query. Okay, so you can dynamically choose uh, all those uh, info objects which will be displayed. So, um, as what I explained, I have created a box variable uh, for the plant. And so this is a technical name. Okay, if we come back to this uh, um, design studio scripts, you're gonna see we have to pass this parameter. So this is the box variable I have created, and so so you have to pass the the value to this box variable. Uh, please be aware that we have some prefix for this variable. So it's this and this, okay? Um, so this is the fixed prefix for this vex variable. The first one is for the text and the second one is for the key, okay? You have to pass both of these two parameters. Even you think the text is not important, but in order to make this function work, you have to pass both the key and text, okay? Okay. Now let's click OK. Um, so once we have done, uh, we can uh, run this or save this to um, the BI platform. Okay, I have already saved this to our BI platform so that I can launch this Design Studio application through the BI Launchpad, right? So here you see this is the uh, Design Studio application, right? if you have view okay so if I just choose this row I just click and keep in mind now I'm select one row for the plant FG06 so if I click this row I ideally there should be a new window open for this plant FG06 but with more detailed information Okay, now you can see all this information is displayed right now, but only for the plant we have selected. Okay, we can do one more test. So if you choose another plant, see let's FPG1. Okay, if you click, there will be new or um, new window open, but only for that plant we have selected in the Design Studio application. All right. So this is the first way we do the report report interface by using the uh, Webby report API open document. Okay. Then I'm gonna show you another way to do the report to report interface. It's um, mainly to leverage the uh, uh, report report interface configuration in the SCPBW. All right. In order to do that, we run the transaction RSBBS. Okay. And here you can input your sender uh, info provider or box query. In our case, it's a box query. So I put here, and then you should create a new uh, receiver. I have already created. We can just click um, change or display here. Um, the in order to jump from a design studio application to a web report document you have to choose the web address all right once you choose a web address you can put the receive objects okay maybe i can just switch it to change oh sorry to make it clear so here um you can input the receive object which is address or your bue server with a certain parameter okay so same thing you have to pass the cuid for the web report you're gonna jump to right so click cancel and this is a description you can give any description uh, for our case we just give the description seals by plant all right and uh, I click cancel because I have already configured then the last step is going to configure the assignment detail okay um, because in our demo we're going to use plant as a parameter so we have to make some change for this plant uh, 
also um, as same as the one I put in the Design Studio scripts, you have to pass this parameter, and this is a variable, and this is the uh, prefix. It's fixed, okay? Uh, so you could pass like single value, multiple value, uh, or even a range, but in our case, you only pass the single value, okay? And once you configure this RSBBS report report interface, uh, you have to do some change in the uh, uh, ICP Design Studio uh, to enable this functionality. All right, it's very simple. You need you just need to enable the context menu under the user interactivity. Okay. Uh, here you see this uh, context menu. Um, under the user interactivity, uh, activity, so you just switch to true, okay, and then you just save this to a BI platform. Then you can write, right? So I have already saved it, so you can switch to to the BI launch pad and to write directly, okay. But this time I'm not gonna click through you uh, directly. I'm gonna right click on the row and then choose jump to, okay? So for example, I move my cursor to the row with planned PLD1. Then I right click, choose jump to, then seals by plant. So seals by plant is the description I created in the uh, uh, BW, okay? I click seals by uh, plant, then you're gonna see only the planned PLD1 will be displayed in the target web report, okay? I close this one, just do one more test for the UG04, okay? I right click, go to jump to, seals by plant. So once I click this one, so only the plant for UG04 will be displayed in the target web report, okay? So here you go. You're gonna see only plant UG04 are displayed here with detailed information, all right? So this uh, is how to configure the two ways to do like report to report interface on jump to from a summary report to a target detailed report, okay? For the for the last uh, uh, way, I mean, for the second way, uh, please keep in mind, uh, you can only test this uh, once you save your uh, design studio application in the BI platform, okay? And that's all. Thank you for watching.